All right, guys, this is Jim from Electrical Exam Academy. I just got off work and I am driving to take the journeyman electrician's exam. Pretty stoked, I'm excited. Even though I'm excited, I had the same breakfast I always have. I uh, wasn't very hungry, but I had it anyway. Regular glazed donut. But uh, I'm gonna, should get there early enough to uh, show you guys my pre-game warm up. See you then. I also wanted to mention, I'm gonna drive about two hours for this exam. And I know that a lot of you guys have um, have to drive long distances before you take your exam. And I've had to drive three hours to take my master's in Colorado, because that was down in Denver. But uh, you definitely don't want to show up to your exam to right Street off the right, right off left the onto front Street. Stop. Don't want to show up uh, just getting out of your car after a three hour ride and uh, try to bang out a five hour test. It's not uh, good form. So I plan on getting there an hour early and that's gonna be right at noon. My test is at two. Uh, they want you in there at 1.30 and I, and I find that if you, if you went in at one o'clock you could probably be testing by 1.30. I mean, as long as there's space open and they get you, they get you registered, they don't really, you know, they don't really go by the appointment date of time of two o'clock. It could be, you know, one o'clock. If you're there and everything works out right. So keep that in mind as well. You don't have to sit in your car and wait for the appointment time Bye. all right so I'm about an hour in to my drive my two-hour drive to the testing facility and it's packed it's 4th of July weekend I knew this road was gonna be crazy so um, I stopped and got gas yesterday so I didn't have to fill up on my way there and uh, on my way here, I've just been thinking, uh, my only anxiety right now is like, what does a testing facility look like? I've never been there. Uh, I haven't, uh, I haven't ever taken a test there. I've never even seen the building. So I think my plan is once I get there, if I get there in plenty of time, if the traffic doesn't stop here, I'm going to, just go in because it's like suite 201 so I'm gonna go in the front door and I'm gonna find my suite on the second floor and kind of check out the testing facility area <clears throat> and then I'm gonna come back into the truck and I'm gonna go over some questions and possibly look at the book get all my uh, get my code book my 30 pages of law that we have uh, printed out, my calculator, and I think that's all I'm allowed to bring into the testing facility. So I'll leave everything else in the truck. All right, I'll talk to you in an hour. So I'm hoping to get to the facility and go in, find seat suite 201, go upstairs, maybe peek in the door, see how many people are waiting for their exam, and then go back down into the truck and study for a little bit. I've got some questions here that I wanna go over, get all my stuff ready, my Uglies book, my 30 pages of law that I printed out, and my 2014 code book. Also, just wanted to mention that I filled up my gas tank yesterday preparing for this traffic just in case I didn't want to have to stop on my way to the facility so I will check back when I get to the parking lot I think or if I think of anything else all right guys I just got here 
It's some uh, office building, some brick office building. I'm gonna go in and check it out. I'm getting stoked. Uh, I can't wait to see these questions. So, I'm gonna go in. All right, so I just went in. There's the building. And it was just like I said, I'm here early, way early. It's noon. My uh, exam's at two, scheduled for two. She said, you can come right in whenever you want to. So I'm just gonna, I went in and washed up. Like I said, it was a long ride. Used the bathroom. And now I'm gonna, oh, I asked her about my references. What, what can I bring in? She verified calculator. Ugly's book, the RSAs, and your code book. She said, no pencil, you're not going to need it. Just a, They're going to give you a dry erase board. And I told her I'm just going to go out and check my code book for a little bit, and then, uh, then I'll be in. So this should be it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what I'm going to study here. All right. So I put all my stuff in this bag last night. Got my uglies book, got my law, got my code book. And what I'm gonna do now is, and I've read Electrical Exam Academy Study Guide. That was earlier preparation. And now I'm just gonna go through, I've made, I've printed out 62 questions, which I think are gonna be on the exam. So I'm just gonna look at these answers I think my, my strategy for today is going to be start the test and just answer every single question straight away, including calculation. So I'm going to answer every question that I know, every question that I have to look up, I'm going to put an answer and then mark for review. And I'm just going to go through the whole test quickly probably take about an hour I've got five hours so um, doing the calculations because we're, um, we're strong in calculations so we'll do those make our best guess for answers that we don't quite know and then answers that we do know we'll just mark them and move on questions that we just barely know we'll mark for review but then I'll go back to square one and I'll try to look up every single question and so that's the strategy for today so I'm gonna look at these questions that I have prepared I'm just gonna look at these 62 questions make sure I have these answers locked are they gonna be on the quiz I don't know I don't know if they're gonna be on the exam I might not see any of these I might see all of them I don't know what I'm gonna see so we're, we're hopefully going to have some really difficult questions and when I get back I'll show you what I'm going to do with them pass or fail you know I'm so psyched up I'm planning on passing but you never know these tests are super hard so I'll check back with you in hopefully less than five hours all right just one quick thing before I go in I just read 63 questions I started off rambling through the questions so quickly that I didn't understand the questions fully but just by reading the questions by the time I got to the end I was reading them properly and understanding what the question meant and it really got me settled down and ready to take the test so um, that was it I'll see you on the other side all right yeah buddy just finished the test not sure what time it is, but it was a brutal, brutal test, man. They, uh, I went in there, uh, they showed me, took all my stuff, put it in the locker, signed me in, went through the process of getting into the exam. There it is, boys. Passed. So probably got a hundred on it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, there was a few. There was a there was a couple that I can't find. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mark up my code book, mark up my um, 
mark up my uh what the hell is this my government papers i'm fried i'm just fried i mean that's a lot it's 110 questions at four and a half hours um i think i finished i probably finished in three hours and then i went back through i stuck to the plan i tried to stick to the plan of just going straight through and marking the only only the ones that i know but the problem with that is that you'll 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 get to one and it will be like i know this definition is just at you know 405.2 so if i can just zip in my book grab this definition while i'm here then i can just answer this correctly i don't have to mark it for review so i did that a lot and there was a couple longer calculations that I let go to the end, but I typically did do the voltage drop calculations, which I had um, I had four voltage drop calculations, I had four Ohm's law calculations, and I did them. I did them as I went. So getting through getting through the whole 110 questions for the first go round was about I'd say like an hour and a half and and then I had probably 25 questions to review because I would just like I said if I didn't know if I didn't know it for 100% fact guaranteed I just pick it pick my best guess which was normally correct even on even on you know you some of the some of the times I did like okay this answer can't be it this answer can't be it so it's a toss up between this it's a 50-50 I'm going to go with this I'm going to mark it for review because it's going to be easy to find I'm just going to go in my index it's going to be right there it's going to lead me to the code article um man these questions that I had I'm going to mark off the ones that were that are on the test, but the 60 set out of the 67 questions that I read, I believe that I'm going to say 30 of them were on the exam. So just by going through that, those 30 questions before the test, I like, I just, um, you know, I had that confidence and of course, when your mind's fried and you're trying to look for the perfect, the right answer, you may not know it 100%, but you've got a pretty good gut feeling about it. And I'm going to add to that list. And and you could um, you could see something, you know, on my website pretty close to that, pretty close to the list of the questions that, you know, the pre pregame questions. I can't I signed a waiver in there it says you can't plagiarize the questions you can't but you can teach how to use the code book so and everybody has practice questions and it's not you know my state might not be your state but so I'm pretty stoked I got to get in here in and you know if you failed you'd be sitting here in a different state but you still have to get out your code book and your highlighter and go through it and just mark the questions that you remember. When you fail it, you probably only remember 10, 15 questions. When you pass it, you probably you remember like 30 to 40 questions I can get out of guys. And then with me, I'll probably have, I'll probably remember if I went through my whole entire code book right now, I could probably uh, get most of the questions. But I study code all the time, so um, that was it, man. I'm I'm jazzed. I'm beat up. My mind is blown, but uh, it was a good test and passed. Woohoo! Bye. All right, that was brutal. All I want to do is get out of here. And it's 4th of July, it's Friday night, 4th of July weekend. And I sat down, I went through all the questions that I could remember. I highlighted things in my book, questions that I, um, 
could remember are the toughest ones that I had that were on my mark for review. So I can imagine if you just failed your exam and you're going to come out here and you're not going to want to look in your code book. You're going to be super fried. Um, but guys who have who I've coached in the past, when they are able to get some of those harder questions that they dwelled on a lot, you know, maybe it's only five or six of them, but that will give us a starting place to talk about those questions and why you think you got them wrong and why you couldn't find them in the code book. So my advice, pass or fail. Well, if you pass, you'll probably just bounce. But if you fail, you got to muscle it out and just um, start going through your list of questions that you brought to study with. So I took those questions out. And I saw which ones, I saw which uh, questions needed, they were worded a little different. So I wrote them down and, you know, just uh, going through basically everything that you can remember. So anyway, um, thanks from Electrical Exam Academy and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.